Aubergine, tucked in La Berge, Carmel, Relay, and Chateau. For my money, easily one of the three very best restaurants between Los Angeles and Los Gatos. And one Zagat has ranked fifth in Northern California, joining Gary Danko, the French Laundry, Manresa, and the restaurant at Meadowood in the top five. The culinary poetry chef Justin Cogley and pastry master Ron Mendoza are doing Defy's description. Wisely then, they simply list seasonal ingredients. Ahead of a grand reopening, they've just finished a beautiful touch-up of the dining room. Sleek new tile walls, sexy menus, foraged fixtures, and a glorious little cheese cave stocked with wheels of wonder and baby barrels of Negroni and yummy rum. So yes, Aubergine is actually getting better. Apparently, fishermen delivering product day of wasn't enough. So they're keeping their own crab, spot prawns, urchins, and abalone alive until just after they're ordered and just seconds before they're prepped. What does Cogley do with the Monterey Bay abalone that fresh? Better let him take it from here. So this is fresh hajiki. Um, and then we actually get that from Japan. No one really gets fresh hajiki anywhere around here. Um, even I'm sure even though some of the best sushi places. This is a little bit of the fermented plum paste. Make sure that everyone knows the abalone. It takes four years to get to that size. It's a very special product for us. Then it also gets a piece of the, this is actually fermented plum, and some of the sea grapes, just to give that unexpected pop. This is some of the mermaid's hair. And this is a little oyster leaf. Put in there. There's some little white mushrooms. And this is the, the broth. There's a little bit of the green tea oil, so just matcha. Um, see what little grapes do oil. Uh, so this is the umeboshi um, with some of the abalone liver, roasted chicken thigh. So it's a nice clear broth, but it actually has a, a real interesting flavor. The, the idea with this one is the ocean, you know, it, it looks like mayhem down there sometimes, you know, all the white water. So the idea was to make a crab dish that looked sort of like that. So Dungeon Scrap, we did have these in the tank yesterday. So we picked young coconut. It's not local, you know, it's from Thailand. A little bit of nitrogen to help freeze it. So that is the, the young coconut water, steep with the lemongrass, the ginger, the rose water, the geranium. This is all the pulp from the, from the young coconut. And then we mix it with a little bit of orange juice. And then we also freeze that. Meyer lemon oil, you know, to really take it over the top, some of these finger limes, um, crazy little pops. Here. A dish really that only has really two main ingredients. Ideally, you know, it's, it's, it's the element of surprise also. So you tell me, what kind of food is it? Hard to say, right? So let's just call it what it is. Incredible. That there's no Michelin star here amounts to a culinary crime. <laughs>